Hello students, welcome to Shorapsis classes. So we are solving UGC NET 2016 July paper. So in today's video, we'll go to question number 34. So we are solving paper number 3. So first we'll start with question number 34. In question number 34, it is given Cobb Douglas production function, which is given by Q equals to capital A in, into L to the power R and k to the power beta if alpha plus beta is greater than 1 then the share of labor would be 4 options are given alpha alpha divided by alpha plus beta beta divided by alpha plus beta and alpha into beta divided by alpha plus beta so Cobb Douglas production function there so we have to find the share of labor in case of Cobb Douglas production function we know the parameters alpha and beta also measure the labor share and capital share in the total output if the marginal productivity conditions hold so in the march if the marginal productivity condition hold the share of labor is what the share of labor is alpha so for this reason for question number 34 we know alpha is the share of labor and share of capital would be beta that is the parameters would be share of labor and share of capital now we'll go to the next question which is question number 35 so in question number 35 it is given New Keynesian economics challenges which among the following school of thought regarding the full adaptability of policy change on the part of economic agents. So we have four options neoclassical, neoclassical economics, monetarist, neoclass Keynesian and both one and two above. So new Keynesian economics challenges which among the following school of thought regarding the full adaptability of a policy change on part of the economics agents. So we have four options neoclassical economist neo Keynesian monetarist and both one and two so out of which we know for question number 35 the right answer would be option a that is neoclassical new classical economics so new classical economics did what the new Keynesian economics challenges which among the following school of thought regarding the full adaptability of a policy change on the part of economics agent it is obviously new classical economics so for this we know for question number 35 the right answer is option 1 now we'll go to the next question which is question number 36 it is given who among the following develop the wage goods model of the planning so which among the following develop the wage goods model of planning so we have four options A. K. Sen, R. Narski, P. C. Mahalanobis and C. N. Vakil and P. R. Brahmananda so for this for question number 36 we know wage goods models were initially propounded by Dr. P. R. Brahmananda and late Professor C. N. Vakil in 1955 to 56 to planning commission at the time of the formulation of second five year plan. So, in case of second five year plan, it was basically C. N. Vakil and P. R. Brahmanand, they basically propounded this wage goods model in 1955 to 6. Now, it was given a viable alternative to the heavy industry strategy given by Professor Mahalonobis and Dr. Brahmananda and Professor CK Vikil failed to achieve the second five year plan was based on two sector model and four sector model. So for this we know for question number six the right answer is this that is C. N. Vakil and P. R. Brahmananda. So who among the following developed the wage good model? It was C. C. N. Vakil and P. R. Brahmananda. So now we'll straight go to the next question which is question number 37. So in question number 37 it is given that is a key property of AK model is what four options are given absence of diminishing returns with respect to capital sustained dose of autonomous investment a command economics economic system and a high probability of poorer economics to catch up with the developed economics. So we have four options the key property of AK model is out of four we have to choose the right answer so the right answer would be the key property of this class of endogenous growth model is the absence of diminishing returns to capital so it is the absence of diminishing returns with respect to capital the, the key property of AK model is the absence of diminishing returns with respect to capital. Further, the simplest version of the production function without diminishing returns is the AK function which is 
a k function is basically y y equals to a k this is known as a k function where a is the positive constant that reflects the level of technology this reflect the level of technology and k the global absence of diminishing returns may seem unrealistic but the idea becomes more plausible if we think k in broad sense to include human capital and k is what k is in broad sense is human capital so for this reason we know for question number 37 the right answer would be option 1 now we'll go to the next question which is question number 38 so in question number 38 it is given in Pasanithi's model of growth the interplay among which variable is crucial four options are given profit rate economic growth and savings profit rate distribution of income and economic growth profit rate autonomous investment and economic growth savings investment and technology so out of this four we know for question number 38 that is a specialist in the theory of growth of distribution Pesinetti corrected the generalized Caldor's model by showing that so he basically did what Pesinetti's model he basically corrected corrected whom corrected Caldor's model so he basically corrected Caldor's model by doing what he corrected Caldor's model by showing that even in the presence of savings by workers the profit rent in the economy depends only on the growth rate and the capitalist propensity to save so the profit rate in the economy depends only on growth rate so profit rate depends on what only one growth rate so it depends on growth rate and the capitalist propensity to save propensity to save so profit depends on growth rate and capital is propensity to save now what was described as specialty theorem on new Cambridge equation thus specialty formulated rigorously the link brought to the light by classical between capital accumulation profit rate and income distribution so he basically did what capital accumulation profit rate and income distribution in his later works he also enlarged his analysis of growth by combining it with the study of structural change in the economy he did it in 1981 it is in order to do so that he developed a new technique of analysis such that vertical integration so for this we know for question number 38 the right answer would be profit rate distribution of income and economic growth so Percentages model growth interplay among which variables is crucial profit rate distributional income and economic growth so for question number 38 we know the right answer is option 2 now we'll go to the last question of this video that is question number 39 so in question number 39 it is given consider the following statement in relation to Karl Marx theory of profit rate so he said profit rate depends directly on the value of organic composition of capital and he also said profit rate depends directly on the value rate of exploitation so which one of the right which one of this is right so according to Karl Marx the rate of profit according to Karl Marx the rate of profit is equals to A is by B divided by C by V plus 1 so according to Karl Marx the rate of profit is what A is by V divided by C by V plus 1 here C is the constant capital this is what constant capital A is by V is the rate of exploitation this is the rate of exploitation and C by V is the organic composition of capital now this formula shows that the rate of profit that is A depends on the rate of surplus value which Marx also call the rate of exploitation because it describes the relationship of unpaid and paid labors and B the organic composition of capital which represent the relationship between dead and living labor constant and variable capital the value of machinery resources and labor power is the rate of profit is directly proportionate to the rate of surplus value and inversely proportionate to the organic composition of capital so rate of profit is directly proportional to s by v which is rate of exploitation and inversely to organic composition of capital so for this reason we know 
Let us both 1 and 2 are correct. So for question number 39, the right answer is only 2 is correct. Sorry, only 2 is correct because we know depends on directly on the value of no profit rate inversely related to capital. So it is not direct. So for this we know for this reason that is the right answer is option 4. So in today's video we solve until question number 39. In the subsequent video we will go to the other questions. So thank you for watching this video. If you have any query or doubt you can simply whatsapp me on this number which is 9836793076 or you can also go to our website which is www showropsearchclasses.com there you will find a lot of other videos like this you will also get to see a lot of other materials which are needed for different entrance exams so thank you for watching this video have a nice day ahead